picking up my low for the week, uh, first low for the week, going to Montana, coming out of Indiana. Uh, I haven't been to Montana as of yet. Yeah, I'm getting about 10 skids on there, uh, 10 pallets. And I was able to get um, about $4 per mile. Broker sent me a carrier packet and I had to fill that out um, before I even got the Raycon. So I was trying to hurry up and get that filled out and sent over to him before somebody else booked that load. I do want to talk to you guys more uh, along the lines of uh, box trucking. Cause I don't want to be one of those, um, those YouTubers that make it sound sweet to where everybody's just like, nobody's understanding the risk and like the money that goes into it. So, uh, probably a little bit later once I get, um, when I, once I connect back with you guys, I'll talk further more into the pros and the cons of the box trucking business. Yo, what's up? I said I was gonna talk to you guys about um, the pros and the cons of box trucking. And then also I want to talk to you all about um, how I got into um, owning my own uh, company, trucking company, uh, driving box trucks. So just a little history um, about me. My name is Gabrielle, um, 32, got a family, son, wife. Um, so I was a supervisor at a warehouse um, I was working for in the warehouse industry for about 10 years and I kind of started getting bored with it and you know, it was no longer fun for me and for me when I don't enjoy what I'm doing I don't put as much effort into it and I feel like that's what well, majority of people um, you don't enjoy what you're doing so you're not gonna you know put your all into it if you're not enjoying what you do um, you're not gonna put your all into it um, and for me I'm not gonna succeed uh, past a certain level. I have no interest in what I'm doing. Um, so basically, started going to school to get my CDLs. Um, a recruiter came out to talk to everyone about what their company is offering. And they were only offering about 60 cent per mile. Um, and for me, when I did the math, it wasn't enough. But also, ultimately, I wanted to work for myself originally. So I started researching the box trucking industry. And I found that it can be very lucrative if you do it the right way. My con with um, driving over the road right now is being away from my family. Um, I saw them last weekend, but now I'm going into another weekend. I'm not gonna be able to see them probably not until next weekend so it's like every other weekend for me and I'm used to seeing them every day so it's not quite ideal to go without seeing my family you know um, sometimes it get hard and I have to keep motivating myself to continue doing what I'm what I'm doing because I actually like what I'm doing but I love being around my family more so kind of have to balance balance it out that way that's like my number one con uh for pro pros for me is just being able to travel and i'm not trying to make it sound easy either like um i want you all to know what you're getting in yourself into when it comes to this business um if you don't make the right decisions uh you can find yourself in fucked up situations um like coming out of pocket for a lot um 
like right now gas is almost five dollars per gallon um hopefully it goes down soon but that's where we're at with gas right now and then you got the brokers the brokers will try to fuck you with the rates so if you're not negotiating and you're just taking anything you're not putting a profit you're gonna lose out on money actually after all of your expenses is paid so keep that in mind make sure you guys are getting the getting the money or the rate that you feel is necessary to keep your truck running and to keep money in your pocket sure it's just gonna be one of the highest expenses when it comes to um, box trucking so if you have a I, I notice if you have a clean record um, the cheaper your deposit and insurance is going to be so keep that in mind as well if your record isn't clean you have like accidents and tickets um, be expecting to pay um, a pretty a pretty pretty uh, big deposit up to like four thousand dollars two thousand dollars a month for insurance um, so yeah that's it's, it's a lot of expenses that come with it but it's also money into it as well like you can easily gross minimum four thousand dollars a week uh to six thousand dollars a week with a box truck um depending on how you work it and how you're driving over the road and depends on how you negotiate your rates so make sure all that is make sure you do your research and make sure everything that you do is strategic when it comes to your business and your truck decisions or whatever make sure you get your pallet jack make sure you get a shitload of straps um get you some low bars uh and then when you're on the road make sure you have all your necessities um like for your showers and um, your sleeping arrangement just want to make sure you have everything that you could think of that's gonna get you by when you're over the road so just being able to travel is a pro for me um i enjoy seeing uh, new places and taking pictures and pretty much everywhere i've been people have been nice so it's been it's been an adventure i then drove through some iffy mountains and uh canyons drove through the canyons and stuff and in the beginning i was nervous but now i can do it with no no problems um then another pro is just having my own company not having to work for nobody else um i can work at my own pace when i want and uh, dictate where i want to go um so yeah that's pretty much how i feel about it if you have any questions leave them down at the bottom uh, don't forget to like my video. Continue to watching. I'm going to post some more videos.